Brittany from The Healthy Habits. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Wellness Wednesday and I normally share with you how I'm doing on my weight loss journey, how much weight I've lost, you know, what goals I've been setting and reaching <clears throat> and what I'm hoping to attain moving forward. And this week I had a huge surprise <laughs> and you could probably already tell by the thumbnail what that surprise was. Um, so, on Sunday, um, actually, let me back up. I was feeling very discouraged um, for a couple of weeks now, and um, I didn't even make a video last Wednesday just because I could not figure out what was going on with my body. Um, I had become very symptomatic. I was having all kinds of issues. I was feeling extremely fatigued. And I even made a comment to a friend of mine. I said, I feel fatigued like when I'm pregnant, but I'm not pregnant. Um, I, I, you'll just have to excuse me too, because I got this little guy with me. Um, and he like innately knows when the camera's on and he has to come on over and see what's going on. But, um, so yeah, I mentioned to a friend of mine that I was super, super fatigued. Um, I was having a really hard time dropping weight even though I had committed to working out in the mornings I was doing that I was eating right I was I was you know I was exercising I was drinking my water and the weight wasn't coming off and I'm like I don't know what's going on and so then I started to think well you know maybe my thyroid is is bogged down or something you know my mom has a thyroid issue um, maybe maybe my thyroid isn't working because I'm doing everything right and and I just, I feel terrible. I just felt horrible. And so, um, I had no clue. I had no inclination to anything. So, uh, Sunday, I went to church, took the kids. Um, my husband had to be in a class all weekend. So, um, <laughs> say hello. So, um, he had to be in a class. So, it was just me getting all three kids ready. And, uh, of course, we were running late. So I get to church, I lug the baby in and all his stuff, and I drop him off at the nursery, and I go, oh my gosh, I think I'm supposed to start my period, like today. And I was wearing like an ivory dress, and I thought, oh my gosh, I have on a dress, what if my period starts while I'm in service, um, what am I going to do? So I had something in the car, so I ran back out to, the, to my van, got a little something that I needed, and I thought, let me just run to the bathroom before the service really starts and um, make sure that all is good. So, go use the restroom. All is fine. And I'm thinking, gosh, I have felt like the worst PMS symptoms. And I normally, I'm pretty blessed. I don't normally deal with PMS issues. And, um, but I was like, I was crying at the drop of a hat and I'm mad at my kids and I just have all these like major PMS issues. And um, I just thought, gosh, when is my period gonna start? So the pastor's doing like some announcements and prayer requests and he's, you know, getting ready to take up the tithe and offering. And I think I need to check when I'm supposed to start. I mean, the things you do in church, right? I couldn't get it off my mind though. So I go, I have this app that I use called the period tracker and it just keeps track of my cycle. And so I pulled it up and it says that I'm late and I'm like, I'm late. I'm never late. So after the service was over, the kids and I load up in the van and I'm like, okay guys, we have to run. They're like, we're starving. We're starving. We want to go home and eat. And I'm like, we have to make one quick stop. So we went to the family dollar store and I ran in and got a test and um, I was just, I honestly was thinking it would be negative. I thought for sure, there's no way. I mean, we've been careful. We're not trying. There's no way. I just got to rule it out because then I'm really going to know something's up with my thyroid or my hormones. So I get home and test and up pops the bright blue line for positive and I just sat there like 
I, I literally set the test down and went, God, what is this? What are you doing? Um, now, let me just say that before I had my first child, I have been told that I would never be able to get pregnant without medical intervention. So for me, to get pregnant the first time, I was blown away. But we were not using protection because I didn't think it was possible to get pregnant. Got pregnant. Um, the second time that I got pregnant, there was one time that we weren't careful and I got pregnant. Um, <laughs> with with um, my third baby, one you just saw, uh, again, one time that we were not careful and we got pregnant. I, I have had one other pregnancy where I did miscarry um, and we were trying for that one and that was really devastating. Um, but this time around, we were not trying. We were being careful. And so I said all that to say that for me, any baby at any point is a complete and total blessing. So please don't mistake this as I, we're not excited or very happy. I know there are lots of women out there. There are lots of women out there who would just give anything to be able to conceive. And I know that feeling before I had my first baby. It, we, we did not use protection or we were not careful for 18 months before we got pregnant with him. Um, so I understand those feelings. So I don't ever want it to come across that I'm not happy or very happy or just extremely shocked. So all of that to say that my goal moving forward with Wellness Wednesday is to pursue a healthy pregnancy. Um, I had the awesome opportunity with my last pregnancy with the baby you just saw to have a home birth. And it was a surreal and beautiful experience that I plan to do again. So I am very excited um, about the journey that's ahead. And I will, you know, continue to do Wellness Wednesday updates. But it won't be about my weight loss. <laughs> It'll be about how I'm just trying to keep my body healthy to grow a new life. And um, also... Um, I totally just lost my journey of thought. <laughs> totally. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm very excited, very 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 <laughs> surprised. Still trying to process it. We haven't told our um, two older kids yet, um, and I know that it's very early to be announcing it because I'm only going to be five weeks along tomorrow, but. I am of the belief system because I have experienced a miscarriage and I experienced that miscarriage when nobody knew that I was pregnant. Um, and that was very difficult because you have a roller coaster of emotions and you don't know how you don't know how to cope with them because nobody knows why you're so sad and it's like you don't want to tell people why I was pregnant and I'm miscarrying um, so that that miscarriage happened before I had this last baby so when I got pregnant with this one Judah I decided you know what I'm just gonna tell everybody I would love everyone's prayers I have nothing to hide and if I lose the baby I'm gonna make that announcement and people will know why I'm grieving I, I just that's just me so that's how I feel this time around I've, I believe that God allowed this pregnancy to happen for a reason, and I'm really excited to see how that plays out. Um, but I'm just not going to hide it, because if anything goes goes um, not as planned, uh, I'll just be forthright and, 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 and upfront about it and, and, you know, seek the support of people for prayer. And so, anyway... We're very excited, very surprised, and it's just more motivation to keep taking care of the body that God gave me um, so that it can nurture this new life that he's given us. So I hope you all had a great week. Um, please leave a comment below. Tell me, have you ever had a surprise pregnancy? 
um, how is your wellness Wednesday um, update this week? Have you, you know, reached your goals, made any progress? I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!